And it's time now for Name in the News here on Media Watch, where we profile one of the figures making the headlines here in China. Jia Jing Chuan, an unemployed father of two, feels humiliated when his children ask him why their dad isn't going to work like other dads and why his feet and hands sweat even on the coldest winter days. He tells them a few white lies because they're too young to understand the miseries of suffering from hexane chemical poisoning. Jia was among 137 workers who were hospitalized between 2009 and 2011 after exposure to the toxic chemical while making the iPhone touchscreens for the Taiwan-owned Wintech, an Apple supplier in Suzhou. The chemical, used to wipe the screens clean, can cause eye, skin and respiratory tract irritation and leads to persistent nerve damage. Jia made the headlines across China when he and 22 other workers began a campaign demanding compensation for their work-related disabilities. His name appeared in more than 1,400 Chinese media reports. Wintech said it used hexyl hydride, also called N-hexane, from May 2008 to August 2009, but stopped the practice after discovering that it was making workers ill. However, Wintech finally agreed to pay the poisoned workers' compensation, ranging from around 50,000 yuan, that's about, well, close to 8,000 US dollars, through to 180,000 yuan. Jia and other workers also launched a petition drive in support of improved working conditions at Chinese factories. Jia received 130,000 yuan in compensation and thought the ordeal was over. He was wrong. The man, once dubbed a working-class hero, has been out of work since the poisoning, staying home as a house husband. Other electronic suppliers have put his name on a blacklist as a troublemaker, he said. No one will hire him. The effects of the poisoning are permanent, he said, and he has to take medication every day. So quite a sad story there. Next up, we hear one of China's viewpoints.